Kitty. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. making my bedroom walls that's the plan for today are you gonna help me? no <laughs> and technically those type of like plank walls usually start in the bottom and you make your way up but I want to have just a small little strip or uh, things don't look right so I don't mind the last piece in the bottom doesn't look perfect so I'm gonna start from the top and make my way poop from the bottom. So because the vans got like a really steep angle here, I'm probably gonna make something here. I don't know if I should just follow that edge or if I should. Yeah, so why don't you yeah, just keep this full length all the way here when if you build a box thing up there you can build a little compartment here to throw shit into that's maybe some flowers that's or some shit. Yeah. It's darker than the, uh, the top one. Eh? I like it a lot. I like it way better than the top. Mm -hmm. Over the years. And here it's got a lot of bugs. So. Like that's way nicer. Mm -hmm. I just gonna screw the top and reset. <laughs> you know, really, like. Uh, eventually, I mean. You know, for like the amount of time it would take, what's a couple of days? Because if I, I need to remove this and remove the fun to um, to remove this. And if I was to do that, I put more insulation while I'm there. But the plan, the uh, plan this this winter <laughs> is to remake my bed and remake my. So I wanted to do a little stuff from the Renault to talk about today's sponsor video. Today's sponsor by Surfshark. So Surfshark is an online VPN. So you may wonder what's an online VPN. It's a virtual private network that unscripts all your data so nobody can hack your data while you are going online. And as a nomad, we always use like public Wi-Fi everywhere and while you are traveling or doing renovation like me, you don't want to have to think about your online data and someone using it. Another great way that you can use your VPN is to book the internet pretending that you are in another country, which is amazing. Especially when you are on Netflix, you can pretend that you're in another country, the country that you're born or totally a different ones. This is what I use because here in Canada, we don't always get the show from the States. So I just pretend that I'm in in states and there you go I have all the movies and the TV show that I want and Surfstar VPN give you 83% off and three extra month free if you use the promo code CATLADYVAN uh, all everything will be in the description of this video thank you so much Surfstar to sponsoring this portion of this video back into the riddle now so things are going well I don't know if you can see the difference between the top stain and the bottom stain, it's crazy the difference. Uh, it's got a huge difference on camera, I cannot stop looking at it. Uh, I think this one, uh, well this one for sure I've done two coats of stain and this one only one. And I think over the year to just fade it with the sun and all this. And also I think I put only two or three coats of 
varnish and this one we put I put five coats. So. But what I opened my camera for is to say things are going well. <laughs> things are going well. I'm just not screwing all the way right now. It's just two screw per board, so I just uh, can move things if I need it. And when everything's gonna be in place, I'm just gonna go back and screw. But uh, I think we have a problem. Maybe I think I didn't stain enough board. <laughs> I thought that I could do two walls of, uh, of plank per board if you want, but I'm going further right here. I'm going all the way here and it's going to have a little corner cabinet just to throw a couple little things. Uh, so I'm going further and I do have a couple board boards too as well that have some hole, some little little things that I'm not gonna be able to use it one of the things that's the longest is just to measure to align my uh, my screw together I hate when like screws like between boards just go like this <laughs> so I'm lining up everything so this is what takes the most time and I pre-drill a hole to make sure that I don't break the wood. Having fun, Kitty? It's always this part, huh? It's a good spot here. Pizza! Delicious. Chicken or pizza? Mm. Chicken jalapeno? 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 No. It's jerk chicken with jalapenos. And this... Here it's all vegan stuff. So I am almost done, and I should have just enough board to finish it. How are you, Corey? Hi. What's up? What's up? How are you? I'm not talking to you. All right, guys, we are all done. And you know what? <laughs> I only had this piece left. <laughs> I just uh, can't believe that I was able to do everything except for uh, one little piece left. That's it. That's it. That's uh, someone who calculate things pretty, really well. <laughs> I'm very lucky to be honest I just didn't want to open the third package and start stating that this the third one uh, everything is done I do have a couple little screws missing if you might see this uh, I just ran out of screws so it's not a huge deal I put all the screw in the bottom uh, and I'm gonna go at Home Depot tomorrow morning grab more screw and just finish to um, to screw that everything all the pre hole are there so it's gonna be super super easy and I can't believe the difference between the top and the bottom literally the same stain uh, I think the huge difference it is because I put two code here and I obviously put five coat of varnish which here I think I put two or three so it kind of fade with the cutter with the over the the year it's not that long but I think it's because I didn't put uh, two coat of stain which make a huge difference I just can't believe it uh, Chrome was like here you go you need to <laughs> remove your top and restain them and I was like uh, it's not as easy as you might think uh, I have to remove all of this I have to remove all the front unscrew everything uh, number there because they need to go special place back into it and I need to remove the varnish that it was on remove the stain so completely send them down to wood and after that I can restain it re-varnish that uh, so <laughs> we'll see we'll see if I do that if I just deal with it I'm uh, gonna let you know I think for the next step will be my rust. Uh, as you know, I've been saying that, but it needed. 
<sighs> it's, it's funny because it took me a while to kind of motivate myself to start rebuilding my van. I know how much work it take. I know, yeah, I know how much work it take and I, I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to have all that big project, which is why I'm doing step by step so I don't get overwhelmed with it. But now that I started, now I'm just like, okay, I want, I want, to, I want to continue. I want to improve the van even more and more and more. Uh, but I'm so happy. The tile, oh, you don't see so much, but the tile there with the walls, it look awesome. Like I said, last video was going to have a mini wall here between. So don't worry about that little gap. We're going to have to live with it for a little while. But I just love it. It look awesome. So eventually countertop, cabinets, definitely bed frame. All of this going to have to be changed. All right, now let's clean the shop. And also you might see that I didn't go all the way to the bottom. This is in purpose. Uh, if you know, I talk about it in one video, but I had at one point some moisture, some mold. I need one of my panel on behind, sorry, one of my walls. And after talking to some people to build van for a living, they told me that the problem was because I seal all my walls properly, so you need air ventilation behind your walls. If there's condensation, they can escape. The wall's gonna stay like this, and you're not gonna see because it's gonna have the mattress anyway. So, all right, this is what the vans look like right now. Such a huge difference, I still cannot get over it. A little wall, like I said, it's gonna be right there, and we have the new tile. Some little progress here and there. I'm happy. Uh, ju just that make a good difference. Like seriously, like just that. We've done the walls, uh, the windows in the back there. We fixed that uh, one or two weeks ago. So yeah. Looking good. I'm happy, guys. <laughs> Not so happy with the mess there, but <laughs> hey, I'm happy with the back. <laughs> All right, Kenny, let's go. We need to go. Kenny! Kenny! <laughs> I knew that would take two seconds. <laughs> with a little bit of treats, take two seconds to come back. <laughs> I just enter the airways, got huge traffic. There's an accident right there. I'm so happy of the, the small little progress I'm making. Always nice. That's, I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time to live with the difference of color. No. I knew I was like, it's not gonna be the same color, which is what I want. I, I didn't like that much that color was faded. And that's why I did two coat of stain because I was like, I want to like, you know, the color to, mm. yeah, I got it. <laughs> Oh my guys, so I hope you enjoy a little day at the shop uh, working on my van. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you with Miss Kim. Oh, and uh, thank you so much to Sharp for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to look at the description for more information. And Eddie, you wanna give them a kiss? A little kiss? Oh, there you go. That's a tiny little kiss. You tired, baby? It was a big day. Hmm? It was a big day. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. We'll see you in the next one.